Alright, if you understand the Tableau architectures and how the components are connected to each other, everything gonna make sense for you as you are working with Tableau and as well it gonna make you a better Tableau developer. So I will be sketching the concepts in order to make it easier for you to understand. So let's go. The Tableau architectures contains four different layers. The source layer, the desktop layer, server layer, and the consumer layer. We will start unboxing each layer one by one to understand their components and we're gonna work with this architecture from left to right so we will start by the source layer and we're gonna end up by the consumer layer all right so now we have the source layer the source layer is outside of tableau and it contains the source of our data so our data could be in databases like mysql or oracle or the data could be in files like excel and json or even in the cloud, like Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure, or even in APIs. So our data could be everywhere. All right, so now back to the big picture, let's jump to the next layer. We're gonna unbox the desktop layer. The first component in Tableau desktop is the data source. Before you start building your visualizations, you must set up the data source. The first thing that we're gonna do inside the data source is to connect Tableau to our data. Tableau offers around 90 different data connectors, so we can connect Tableau almost to anything. Once you build the connection between Tableau and your source of data, the access information is gonna be stored inside the data source. For example, the path of the file, location of servers, username, passwords, or access tokens, and so on. So all these information is gonna be stored inside the data source. All right, so the two types of data connections in data sources are extract and live connections. So now we connected to data, we decided which type of the connection. The next thing that we have to do in the data source is to start building our data model. And we can do that by combining tables together using relationships, joins, and union. And you can do many other stuffs like setting the right data types, doing aggregations, renaming tables and columns, creating new calculations and filters, and so on. All right, so now to summarize, the data source component in Tableau contains the following informations. We have the data connectors to connect Tableau to our data. We have the access informations where the locations of our sources gonna be stored. And as well, we can decide whether we're gonna load an extra copy of our data inside Tableau. We call it an extract connection or we're gonna leave it as a live connections in the data sources. And the last thing, we have the data model inside data sources where we can combine tables together and do aggregations or we can do some other custom stuff. All right, so once we are done with the setup of the data source, we have the connection, whether it's extract or live, we have our data model and everything is ready. Now we're gonna go and start building our visualizations. And Tableau organizes the visualizations in three levels. The first one is the worksheets. So we can use the data available in our data sources to build a single view, only one visual. It could be a bar chart, a pie chart, or a table view. And as you can see, each worksheet is connected directly to a data source. But in Tableau, you can build a worksheet from two different data sources by using very powerful combining methods called data blending. And this is very unique feature in Tableau. You cannot find it in any other BI tools where the data in one visual can come from different sources. And once we have these different worksheets, we can go to the next level where we start combining these worksheets into one dashboard to show the different visuals in only one view. But keep in mind, if you want to do any changes in the visuals, you have to go back to the worksheets and do the adjustment there. And now we come to the last level, we have the stories. As you know, the main goal of doing data visualizations is to tell a story. So you can build like a sequence of worksheets or dashboards that works together in order to tell the users a story based on your data. All right, so now you might ask me which visualization level is the right one for you. Well, if you have only one visual, then go with the worksheet. But if you want to build some kind of KBI to monitor process, then build a dashboard. And if you want to present your data and tell a story from it, then go and build a story. All right, so now we have in Tableau Desktop both of the data sources and the visualizations. 
and these two components are contained in something called a Tableau workbook. So now the question is, after you're done building your data sources and visualizations, what can you do with this workbook? Well, you can share it with your colleagues in your team or departments, and there is two ways to do that. Either you're gonna go and send a Tableau file directly to the users, or you're gonna go and publish the workbook to a Tableau server or cloud, and from there, your users and your team can access your workbook. All right, so now back to the big picture, the Tableau architecture. Let's talk about the layer on the right side, the consumer layer. There is different ways to consume Tableau visualizations, depends on the user's clients and on the tasks the users do. So we start with a very small group of users that they might use Tableau Reader to view and interact with Tableau visualizations and they usually don't want to edit or create something new. For this group of users, we're gonna send them a Tableau file. As we learned, they're gonna need the Tableau Packaged Workbook TWPX. And we might have another group of users, usually they are your team colleagues, they want to build analyzes on top of your work. They're gonna use Tableau Desktop to do that. For them, we can send any kind of Tableau files, depends on their requirements and their tasks. And now we have a big group of users or consumers that they can access Tableau Server or Cloud to view and interact with Tableau visuals. They can use their web browsers like Google Chrome and Firefox to access the content of Tableau Server, and from there, they can view, interact, and even edit the visualizations if they have enough permissions. Or they can use Tableau mobile app on their smartphones or tablets to view and interact with your workbooks, but they cannot use it in order to edit the Tableau visualizations. So for this group of users, you will not send them any files. First, you have to publish your work to the server. And here we have two options. Either you're gonna publish only the data source, or you're gonna publish the whole workbook to the Tableau server or cloud. And after that, you're gonna share the link of your workbooks to the users. And now to the last group of users that's worth mentioning, they are the static users. You can always export your data and visuals from Tableau desktop and send it directly to the users as a PDF or Excel. So of course it's static and they cannot interact with it. All right, so so far in the Tableau architecture, we talked about the source layer, we did deep dive in the Tableau desktop and its component, and we understood the different type of consumers and the clients. And in the next step, we will start talking about the Tableau server architecture. But first, in order to make it easier to understand, we will go through three different scenarios and we will start with the publish process. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.